In 1976, a young Rufina Donat embarked on a journey which would prove to be a career-defining experience. She secured a placement at the St. Joseph's Convent. Despite initial challenge, she successfully continued her educational journey and became a teacher at the institution in 1984. I had a really tough time as a student. I entered having placed 10th on the island, but after placing 9th at my first term exam, everything went downhill. That means I was failing every term. Nevertheless, I enjoyed school life. I had good friends and some good teachers. Despite setbacks, I found strength through faith and supportive communities. Near five decades after first entering the halls of the school, she is preparing to transition from its most senior administrative post into retirement. While the first lay person assumed leadership in the year 2000, then principal Felicia McFarlane was a former teacher at SGC and affiliate of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Cluny. Until 2005, Sister Rufina worked as vice principal. Transitioning to school principal in 2005, the departure of the veteran educator marks an unprecedented era in the school's history. After Sister Rufina's exit, for the first time, no teacher in the active administrative body will be a vowed member of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Cluny. Presiding over her final graduation ceremony as principal, a message to the class of 2024 proved applicable to all in attendance. Ladies, do not let past failures define you. They are stepping stones to your future successes. Hold fast to those who believe in you, for they are your steadfast supporters and motivators. And the power is within you to become your best self, no matter your circumstances. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Move on. You are extraordinary. And your potential knows no bounds. Embrace the journey ahead with confidence and determination, knowing that greatness lies within each of you. The recent graduation ceremony highlighted the stellar achievements of exiting students with top awards presented by Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward and His Grace Archbishop Gabriel Malzair. While her parting words were anticipated by graduates and attendees, one generous surprise punctuated acknowledgement of the remarkable milestone achieved by the institution in 2024, remaining in service for 170 years. With the support and approval of the Prime Minister, I'm pleased to announce this afternoon that we have agreed under the Castries North Constituency Fund to make a further donation of $170,000 significant to the anniversary of the St. Joseph's Convent. After a lifetime dedicated to guiding generations of young St. Lucian women toward becoming exemplary citizens, Sister Rufina Donna has established a legacy sure to bolster the legend of the 170-year-old institution. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Kiba Talium.